Anime Pro here. Today I'm going to be continuing for the second part of what if Naruto was the same age as Itachi. Because I actually saw there was like a lot of views for me at least. There was about 35 views last time I checked. And so that's a pretty big constant in my book. And so I think you guys might actually like it quite a bit. And so we left off as um, that they're about coming to the point of the tuning exams. And I was going to say that um, a few things happen differently with Naruto and all of them. So first, Naruto has KCM Cloak, number two. Because Shishui and Itachi would like help him control the Nine Tails. And so that would make it a little bit easier. Also, he, by the time that Genjutsu the Nine Tails out of it, Naruto would have taken so much shocker from him using the chains. It would have just been insane how much shocker he could have taken. So in the beginning, he takes like maybe, I don't know the exact measurements, but let's just say he takes triple the amount he takes in the regular. And if that's not possible, let's just say it is. And so, Naruto right now is basically pretty dang strong. He's basically immune to all forms of Genjutsu. He actually even becomes pretty decent friends with Kurama. Or Ninetales. Whatever you like to call him. I call him Kurama. And so, he becomes pretty good friends with him. And to the point where like they're perfect in Cherokee. And so basically, now he he's basically immune to all Genjutsu. Except for like very, very advanced ones. More than the Suge no Mi. Because, like, sure, that's, that's, um, Mangeko Sharingan level, but it's still not enough. Because you have to remember that the Nine Tails was there at the beginning with Hagoromo and stuff. So, basically, he's untouchable right there. Or at least when it comes to Genjutsu. Because his beast can just, you know, do it just like how Tachi tried putting Killer B in it, but then it didn't work. Because, you know,. Gookie, I think that's how you say his name. Gookie or Goo. It's it looks like Gucci, but it says Gookie, or it's pronounced like Gookie. Anyways, he's the one who breaks free of it for him. So that's basically what the same thing ha happens to Naruto. So he's basically immune to Genjutsu. And so the tuning exams come around, and a few things happen differently. We still get the cool fight with um. Sasuke and Orochimaru. Also, there's just like some some Kiba's replacing Naruto, so some fodder guys replacing Kiba. And Sasuke actually wouldn't really be a broody kid, by the way. He'd actually be more of like a nice kid because his family's with him. Sure, he feels a need to live up to Itachi and even Naruto because he definitely wants to surpass those people as he gets older. So, but he doesn't really have hatred for anything. Sure, he doesn't like sweet food, but that's not exactly enough to have Orochimaru go for him. But Orochimaru hopes that he might be able to still get him. And so, yeah. He goes and he fights Orochimaru, doing slightly better. No, no, I'd say, I would say right now, he's about, um, let's give him the level of... Let's give him level of, hmm, I'll give him level, I'll give Sasuke two Tamoli in one eye and three Tamoli Shargon in the other eye. Because that should give him a pretty substantial amount of a boost in power. That, it should at least make it a pretty cool fight that where Orochimaru actually has to like try a little bit. Because Sharingan's a pretty dangerous thing and um, Orochimaru knows that especially. Or at least he did in canon. He doesn't exactly know it as much now. But he does know that the first Okage. Um. Was like barely able to fight it. And he was like of the prestigious Senju clan. So he knows that it's definitely nothing to be trifled with. It's definitely a dangerous thing. And so it's definitely something you'd want to be care of, careful of. Kind of like how I'm not trying to step on this TNT. And so... Um, Itachi would actually come in at the last moment, cutting off Orochimaru's neck. 
But Orochimaru would just pop out of himself again. It's kind of weird how he just pops out of himself, you know? So he'd do that, and so that's what would happen. And so then after all that's done, he'd actually, Orochimaru would be dealt with pretty easily by Itachi. Because Itachi is just like a way new level this time around. Because he's got Sisui for way longer to train with and Naruto to train with. He's way physically stronger and more capable. And so, yeah. So he's just dealt with pretty easily by Itachi. And I'm not saying that um, he um, that Orochimaru is weak on any terms. I'm just saying that Itachi is so strong that he's basically irrelevant at this point. And it would honestly take more of like a pain level fighter or like an Obito level fighter to like pose a threat and like a major challenge. But like someone like Orochimaru who's just like meh isn't really that much of like trouble for him. And so basically that happens. He takes him out pretty easily. And a tot and actually it's kinda different because Sasuke never gets a curse mark. And so that's kind of crazy. And it's kind of insane. He never gets a curse mark. So we never get that moment where he like awakens. And instead of doing that, he basically is just already awake. And like just is like really weak. And so he needs to regain his chakra for a little bit. We still get that moment where Sakura cuts her hair. It's just, he just ha doesn't have the curse mark. He still bodies those other guys because they're not exactly very good. Well, they're, they're pretty decent for Genin, but, you know, Sasuke is Sasuke. So he takes care of him. And I know this video is pretty short. We didn't really cover that much. But I think I'm going to have to end it because, you know, it actually takes a long time for these videos to upload if they're, like, 10 minutes. So it's easier if they're, like, around 7 minutes, like, right now. And thank you, guys. And until next time, goodbye.